just stepped outside to film a video, bro. And then I feel this heat that Florida is giving us right now. And bro, it is like extremely freaking hot. But I'm not gonna let the heat stop me from making this banger video. So yours, Poppin' Playboys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be selling, selling. I'm gonna be setting up rolling anti-lag on Dusty. Um, if you guys know, I do break boosts a lot. And this is... <laughs> Usually what happens when I keep brake boosting, I don't know if you guys can really see that on camera, but if you guys can see that wheel over there and then look at this, you can tell that this wheel is covered in brake dust. So I'm hoping with me setting up rolling anti-lag, I could, you know, minimize the brake dust and still have the same effect as me brake boosting. Well, most likely still gonna have the same effect. But yeah, it's pretty easy. It's two wires from your clutch pedal and uh, you just need a switch. I'm gonna show you guys everything I have actually, just to make this a little bit simpler and easier for you guys. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cake. Um, shout out to Booster Perp for uh, making a video on this and also like answering my DMs because I was kind of confused like how people were doing this. I thought you had to set up the wires a certain way. And nah, bro, it's really simple. It's two wires, you need a switch, and that's it. All right, guys, so this is what's needed to do this install. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, you do need wire cramps, not wire cramps, wire cutters, just to strip off the ends of the wire. Um, this wire right here is an 18 gauge. Um, I have a lot of it. I have a second one right here. It's, yeah, I don't know how long it is, but it's pretty dang long. And then I have quick, quick splices because um, I don't want to cut off my connector that's for the pedal. I just want to disconnect it in case, you know, if I ever want to plug it back in, if I, you know, ever get rid of Dusty. Which I don't plan to, but yeah. And then you have the ends. I forgot what these are called. Rings. You have the rings. Because these rings, the red ones, as you guys can see, I believe. You have the red ones. Is it the red ones? Yeah, it should be the red ones. The red ones are going to go on the ends of these. You're going to clamp them down. And then you have your switch. You're going to need your switch. I bought mine from Amazon for like $10. Hopefully they work. But yeah, you got your switch, and then when you get your uh, wires on the rings, you're just gonna focus. If you f Come on, focus right here. Well, you're gonna just screw them down. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on that. Come on, bro. This camera can be so good, but yet so trash at times. Focus. Yeah, I give up. You're gonna, there we go. Oh, never mind. So yeah, it is pretty easy to do. Um, I honestly don't feel like doing it right now. It's hot as hell, but I gotta get it done because I do want to test this out later on today when the sun actually cools down and stuff. But yeah, so all you're gonna need is some quick slices, wire cramps, wire cramps, wire colors, a switch where you can buy from AutoZone or Advanced Hardware or O'Reilly's, wherever you want to go for your automotive needs, or you can buy them on Amazon like I did. You can get like five for eight dollars and you're gonna need wire don't get wire that's smaller than what's in the car right now i believe what's in the car is like it's not it's not a 16 it's probably 18 so yeah i'm gonna use the 18 because i believe they're the same size and uh yeah let's see how it goes five minutes later ah. <clears throat> all right guys so i kind of went further ahead because i do have like way more wires than most people do um, so this piece right here connects to right here, the bottom portion of your steering like wheel or area, I guess. And those are just popped in by clips. So you can just pop those clips out. Um, only reason why mine is not like coming all the way out is because I do have my, my ambient lighting, I guess you could call it, um, routed on the bottom by 3M tape. So I don't want to take that off because I will have to go buy a whole new set and uh redo that so yeah i'm gonna leave that right there and um uh, probably just put my body underneath this and have this rest of my chest but what you're gonna do hold on let me get down there show you guys all right guys so hopefully i can show you this is gonna be kind of awkward but do you uh damn i can't see you now do you guys see that clip right there that's the clip i'm plugged um it goes into your your let me see if i can show you guys because this is going to be a pain in the butt to do. Ah. Alright, so all the way back there, 
where you see, uh, bro, I'm freaking trying and I can't freaking show you guys. It's gonna make me so pissed. All right, so you see this this cylinder right here. I'm gonna put arrows. The cylinder is gonna have a, a plug. What you're gonna do? You're gonna unplug that plug. That plug has two wires in it. That plug right there. That plug has two wires in it. Um, all you have to do is get a quick splice and uh, insert your wire. So one side of the quick splice. Ah, bro. If I could show you guys like the angle I am right now, y'all probably be dying laughing. But yo, I'm like twisted sideways. Let me see if I can show y'all. I'm dying like this, bro. Y'all see me? These angles ain't in it. Oh, 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 oh. And you got the birds over here laughing like it's funny. But, um, dang, I'm light skinned. Sheesh. But nah, I need this camera to focus. Get, all right, so these quick connects, as you guys can see, one side is blocked. Yo, if this crow don't shut the heck up. One side of this quick connect is blocked. That's where your new wire is going to go. The other side is where you're going to put the existing wire in. And then on the top, you're going to get like a pliers just to crimp them down. Once you do that, make sure it's tight. Pull on it, tug on it. Also, make sure the, the part that's blocked, when you insert your new wire, make sure you push hard as you can. Make sure it's all the way to the end. Because sometimes people, they'll feel it hit something and it'll stop right there and crimp it down. And they never even got the wire all the way past where it needs to be crimped. So, make sure you push like all your might past it, past this part. Just to ensure that, you know, you got it in the right solution. Right solution, right spot. Bro, look at my nostrils. Damn. But, um, yeah. After that, just crimp them down, both wires. And then, uh, I'm going to show you guys what to do after that. Day two. All right, you guys. So, I got the switched all wired in, toggled up. Pretty damn simple. This is actually day two of me installing this. Um, Yesterday, I had to go somewhere, like around like six and I was out here around like four so I couldn't finish it up and then while I was inside the car it started to pour rain and there was lightning and thunder I was like yeah I'm not gonna be working on anything electrical while there's lightning striking a tree right next to me so I said yeah that's dead let me go inside before I kill myself and uh yeah so I'm out here today it's hot as hell again and it's about to freaking pour again but luckily I got everything all toggled up um I did try it I'm gonna show you guys how you know you set it up right so obviously you turn on the car and um right now it's on so uh i believe it's backwards so on is actually off and off is actually on so since it's on right now you could check your afrs which is what i'm looking at right now let me see see so that's afrs readings and if you turn off the switch it should go off and if you hold cancel that should be your launch control. Well, for me, that's my rolling anti-lag. So wherever you have your launch control set as, that's where it's gonna be for your uh, rolling anti-lag. So now what I have to do, I actually do have to go check, uh, I have to go check my Flash Pro and uh, adjust a couple things. Cause I need to be able to, uh, what I gotta do? I gotta change my, my launch control from where is that now? I think it's like at zero miles per hour. And I got to put it at 70 miles per hour. So I'll be able to do a rolling anti lag at like 60 miles. Not 70 because I think that's the cutoff. And I could do a rolling anti lag at 40. So I'm going to do that tomorrow because I feel like by the time I even start my laptop, hop on on data, and come back outside, it's going to be raining. And came and test it out. So tomorrow, most definitely, this video should be ending. Um, yeah, bro. I'm happy. Everything worked out perfectly fine. Let me start the car. So yeah, like I was saying, right now it's off. So off means on. So this is my launch control. And if I flick it up, if I press down, that's my AFR reading. So you can see the, the needle's kind of moving. So yeah, that's AFR reading. So when I'm daily driving, I'll have it on this because if I have it on off, as soon as I get to right here, it's just gonna hit the the roller inside lag. It's gonna so yeah, I have to drive with the car on all. 
so that doesn't happen. But yeah, we're gonna have some fun now. Yes, Alright, guys, so I got the camera mounted up in the car. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear me well. Um, <clears throat> bro, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm sweating. It's hot. And apparently it's supposed to rain today again so i'm hoping it actually does rain this time so i might just go outside and play it play in the rain but hopefully you guys can hear me so what we're about to go do now we're about to go test out rolling anti-lag so yeah we're gonna test out this switch right now Right now I'm going 45, well, 39, 35. seems like I'm gonna be on my phone because out of nowhere my freaking camera just randomly died on me I literally charged this battery yesterday and I only filmed for like don't even know how long I just filmed for right now and it freaking went out on me I need to bust a u-turn but oh uh, yeah I'm gonna bust this u-turn and uh do the pool and see how it turns out me in the chest I actually wasn't uh, expecting that like that surprised the shit out of me Let all these cars pass me again <coughs> or maybe I just do a U-turn and do it there again like I just did One more time and I'm done. Crazy, but 
guess I was wrong because this this right here was wow. I also think I have it a little bit too high. Let me see. If I put it down, and I see where it's at. What's that? Right there. Try it there one more time, I guess. Alright guys, this is my last time doing it because it's pretty freaking hot outside, so this video inside where where it's not freaking hot because it's scorching outside and my camera's my camera's dead anyways it is 1 27 in the morning and i ain't gonna lie i am pretty tired this video has been filmed a week ago oh gosh and i'm finally just finishing it up I don't know why it took so long to do this, but yeah, man, um, I'm not going to talk too loud because it's almost two o'clock in the morning and people are sleeping. So yeah, um, the anti-lag works perfectly fine. I do have an issue though. I don't know why it does it. Um, sometimes I get a random like a uh, check heel assist and I guess that's because it's like has to do with the clutch pedal and all that stuff. Um, if you're trying to do this mod, just know that you probably run into that issue as well for the 14s to the 15s. Um, Booster Perp said he didn't have that issue, but he does have a 2013, so that's probably why. So I'm guessing the 12s to 13s, since they don't have a hill assist, they don't run into a hill assist code. But um, for me to like, for the code to go away, all you have to do is just turn off the car and turn it back on. And I only get it when the switch is flipped up to on, not off. So I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. It's weird. Um, hopefully, I can figure it, like something that could stop it because it's annoying sometimes um, when I'm just driving and it pops up and now I can't turn off traction control. But uh, yeah, if I ever wanted to like deactivate rolling anti lag, all I gotta do is just unconnect the the switch and plug back the connector. So I'm not really stressing it too much. But yeah, um, leave it leave in the comments down below if you guys want me to like make kits. I asked on Instagram, and like 70 people said yes, and like 10 people said no. So let me know if you guys are really interested, because you guys want to do this to your car. Um, I can make a kit, reasonable price, probably like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, and it's gonna be like a super super nice kit, very very simple. I'll probably even make it cheaper to be honest with you. But yeah, super super nice kit, very very like affordable, and uh, and nice, and it's gonna work. If you're boosted, of course, um, you can do this being NA, but it's really no point. Um, people say there's a point. I don't see the point, but yeah. But yeah, this one I'm out of the video because I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to edit this, edit this video that we're, that I'm recording right now, so I can go lay in this bed and go to sleep. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, you guys like my my reaction, which is like, yo, well, anti like is crazy, but yeah. If you enjoyed the video, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Head to my merch site, www.zubigarage.com. Support the channel, support, support Dusty, so I can help support you guys and get you guys discounts out for big name companies and, you know, free stuff. So, yeah, your boy's out. Peace.